It's only been one week since I've gotten back from my trip and I'm slowly but surely beginning to organize all of the footage that I was able to take while on my adventure. Most of you already know this by now, but I was invited on behalf of Philippine Airlines and the Philippines Department of Tourism to participate in a media trip to the Philippines to help promote tourism to this beautiful country. The first day of our trip was spent exploring the city of Cebu. We had a wonderful tour and I wanna show you guys some of the highlights that I experienced while participating in the tour of Cebu. Yeah, so are you ready for the tour? Yeah! yeah. Our first stop on the Cebu tour is Kenneth Cabonpue's furniture showroom. He's a famous furniture designer here in the Philippines. So famous that he designed some of the furniture pieces for Ocean's 13. And apparently, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie like his furniture so much that they have some of his pieces imported. I just found out that this bed frame is something that Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie have in their home. Now you know. This crib is also designed for one of their babies. I mean, they have a lot, so I don't know which one, but it was designed for their baby. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Yeah. Bye, thank you. Will, what did you think of the furniture showroom? I just want the bed. The bed was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. We need a new bed and that's the bed I want. Now we're inspired. My birthday's coming up. <laughs> Time for stop number two. Our second stop on the Cebu tour is in downtown Cebu at a landmark called the Old House. It's over 300 years old. Construction began in 1675 through the early 1700s and 95% of the roof and the walls are original. It definitely shows because I feel like every step that I take, I'm one step closer to falling through the floorboards, but there's just so much rich history here which makes this landmark that much cooler. So apparently the current owner of the old house sleeps in the bedroom once a week. What do you think about that, Will? That's haunted. Yeah, haunted. I, I mean, if I got paid enough money, I probably would do it. I would spend the night there. I see, I see ghosts. <laughs> So back in the 1500s, Ferdinand Magellan tried to prove that the Earth was round. And by doing so, he ended up taking a voyage from Spain all the way to Cebu. And right behind me is Ferdinand Magellan's cross, otherwise known as Magellan's cross. Inside that cross is the original cross from April 21st, 1521. Our last stop on the tour was Basilica del Santo Nino, which was actually walking distance from Magellan's Cross. But out of respect, I didn't film anything while at the Basilica because mass was going on. But if you're ever traveling in the Philippines, I highly recommend that you check out Magellan's Cross and the Basilica because those two stops on our tour were by far my favorite things that we got to experience. A huge thanks to Southwind Travel and Tours for the wonderful tour, and you guys know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to follow me on more of my adventures. And stay tuned for more content coming about my adventure in the Philippines. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.